And now we go on. We need this database, which we have created in there, inside uh, we have to connect it and uh, in the application and inside the application uh, we get it in uh, we have to define that uh, string in the app config but how does this uh, quite uh, difficult string go in there for this we do the following we say we add a data source and we say please add a database and that's the data set and it automatically sets okay db cars uh, we we want that point and that's the point which will be written inside the database and we say show me all tables and all views for example stored procedures what else okay now we don't need it uh, really but what when we have a look again in app config we will see there is a big string and there's also a big string in uh, properties here and in the settings there we will see that it's if you write something into the app config it will be also automatically uh, written here in my settings and it's quite easy to get the settings there so now we <coughs> start to add a uh, record or or select a red record or fill fill that file in this form here we will say properties and in the properties we have here here are the properties of the windows forms and now we go to the events and we say if the system loads or the form loads make me a new um a new form event or something like this and then load my stuff uh, let's say we write a new load uh, load the list for example and for this we create a small uh, method region methods So <coughs> inside here we will say, okay, we create a new uh, method, which means it's a private void load list and then a bracket and opening and closing bracket. Ah, that's my load list method. Now, when I make these commands, then uh, it's easier to find uh, all the points. So first we need the connection string. Uh, so we say, okay, what is my connection string uh, to my connection string to my local database? So this means uh, we say settings, so in properties, properties of my application, settings default then we see also already uh, here db cars connections uh, string so this is my um, my settings at runtime it will be uh, collected from the my settings the value now we need uh, when we go on with this database mdf we see this is uh, using system data SQL server SQL client that's my SQL SQL server uh, local DB and when we ask now for data uh, for this table then the SQL server will automatically start and give me results from the database now we say 
uh, we need a connection to there. We have the string there. Now we need the connection. Connection is uh, yeah, open the connection to the database. So we say SQL uh, connection cn uh, connection equals new SQL connection with the connection string which is all already available there. So now we have the connection and we say uh, my connection my connection open and we say if it's not open if connection mm, uh, state is not connection state open then open that point so uh, the connection is uh, simply defined but it's uh, when we want data from there we have to open it and after this we have to close it now uh, what we also need on that point is we need to get the data uh, and the data are, uh, will be done by an adapter. So this is the connection and we need a data table and uh, we need a data table TBL for example equals new data table and then we say we need an adapter SQL adapter data adapter adapter equals new SQL data adapter and now when we open this uh, with, uh, the round brackets then we see SQL command SQL command text and uh, connection so we say we need a SQL text and the connection so this is the connection and now we need uh, when we want to load the list we need to get this one a string which says um, which says give me some data so the data will be uh, written in SQL commands um, how shall I so th say this I will go show you this points in my other application we need we need the following commands we need the command uh, show me the data select something select some data uh, star means all data from a table then we need uh, add to add something or insert we need an insert command and we need a delete command and we need we need a update command that's all what we need on our application so we say uh, select some field uh, some fields from tbl cars that's what we have written in our database uh, before TB, uh, db cars and we go there we see tbl underscore scars cars and there are two fields id car and car and now um, when we run that code uh, when we say form load list uh, load list then we get the string we open a uh, connect connection we create a connection we open that connection then we say select some uh, some data from our uh, database then we create an empty table and an adapter and the adapter fills the data into the table so this is our mm, mm, database data base stuff and now we go to to show that uh, that uh, elements now we say show 
that point. So this is means uh, <coughs> we have the list cars. That's the point what we see there. That's the big list. And we want to fill the list. Uh, for filling this list, we have to say, OK, we have a bound <laughs> data data bindings data source we have the data source is our table table and before this we have to say there will be in our cars uh, the data binding now I need have to look it up again because I also always forget it we need here this one display member and display value we have to say what we see there display member is the stuff what what we see so this is the field cars either in written in brackets so we know it's a field in a database written but it's simply to write like this so this is the field the entry f entry stuff and then we need the value value member that's uh, the idea behind their uh, ID car so uh, <coughs> and as soon as we say list cars data source uh, drop all that stuff in there then the database will be full. so now we go there start it and now since we've created now this table and the uh, SQL data adapter we also have to fill it it's not only the definitions we have to say adapter fill and then we see that's the data table and just fill fill all the, your stuff into the table so this is the table and then we will get um, the results when the adapter fills that stuff it fills it into the data table and then uh, the table goes as a data source to the list of cars now when we start that then we will see uh, two results as we defined that stuff in um, in the list at the load event so we have here the load event and we're loading the list into uh, the data into the list box